feel like I should go and put on some makeup or something. <laughs> no, you're yeah. looking just fine without it. No. I'm I'm here in a very special neighborhood today in Toronto. It's called the Riverside neighborhood, which is just east of the Don Valley, yeah. uh, Don River on Queen Street. Yeah. Nice neighborhood that has been revitalizing over the last few years, and one of the real institutions here is a restaurant called The Real Jerk. Welcome to The Real Jerk, Irene. Exactly, <laughs> there you go. We've got the picture right here, The Real Jerk, Caribbean Food, 709 Queen Street East. And Natalie here, you're the manager. Yes. And yeah, you help run The Real Jerk. Now, how long has your place been around there? Well, The Real Jerk has been in business for 25 years. We originally started off at Queen and Greenwood, and we moved to this location in 1989. So uh -huh. we've been a fixture in this area. No uh, kidding. Ever, you know? At the Queen and uh, and Broadview intersection. Yes, you, you can't miss the big yellow building. No, yeah, it's so it looks exactly. It's got that yes, color combination. Exactly it's got the like friendly it. yellow sun yes. and red uh, and yellow orange coloring outside. Very beautiful colors. Yes. And a whole wall full of awards. How yes. come? From Now Magazine. Yeah. Where I Harbor Front. We actually got nominated this year for best dumplings. Um, at the I like Isla the way Festival. you say that. Dumplings. Dumplings. Yeah. Dumplings are delicious. Exactly. <laughs> they are. Delicious. Yeah. And stuff. So, as I said, the restaurant has been around for 25 years. Um, when the restaurant first started, nobody knew what jerk chicken is. Yes. Now, Toronto, it's so full of different cultures, and jerk chicken has become renowned. Like, it's a household name. Plus, exactly. Yeah, plus roti is basically so popular. Yeah. And we actually do a lot of outdoor events because people like to remember when they go to the Caribbean. I and didn't that, know that you do outdoor events. Yeah. Like, what type of event? Well, actually, I'm just coming from Tasty Thursdays. Uh -huh. that happens at City Hall. Oh, really? Yeah, every Thursday they have all these vendors that basically sell everything for five dollars. Great! And what a we've great been idea! We've participating for the past few years, and we just sell jerk chicken, jerk pork, ribs, and roti. Awesome! And a huge lineup. Yeah. So that's why I've been running around. Every Thursday? Day. What every time day? usually? Uh, eleven to two. Eleven? Oh, no, that's no wonder I don't catch it. That's yeah. when I work when I'm yeah. usually inside. Yeah. So that's all great. the downtown people. Well, they basically oh, come good for us and have bands performing. Yeah. But as I said, the restaurant we have always um, been able to do outside events. Basically, we like to go to different events. We've done events in Sarnia, in Burlington, out of town as well. Out of town, even some places that have never heard of jerks. Because that's so you what bring a whole van full of food. Is that how you a, do it? Yeah, we bring a whole van of food. Uh -huh. and we basically, set up the big grill, mm -hmm. and we also do catering if you're having something in your house and you want to bring that island feeling. Yeah. So we'll have the big kitchen, and the tent set up with all the red, yellow, green. And nice. And it's basically, it's like we're taking a piece of paradise with you. Exactly. You know, so, I mean, as I said, this is the institution here. It is. And we have customers that come here every day to eat. We have customers that once they're in town, this is the first place they come. Now, tell me, are you involved at all with Caravana also? Um, no, we're not really involved per se. Caravana, this is a stuff for a lot of people that come into town because, as I said, we have become a tourist destination. I would think you must be the most well-known uh, Jamaican food uh, establishment in Toronto. I, I think so because actually yeah. we got um, written up recently by in the West Jet magazine yeah. about one of the places to come while you're in Toronto. Exactly. And as I said, Caravan and Time has always been busy for us. You must be totally packed. Totally packed. Yeah. And the uh, past few years we haven't really gone at the parade, but um, when we first started, we did a lot of outdoor events at the parade. Um, as I said, the focus is the restaurant here, but we have karaoke. Irioki. Irioki? Irioki. That's on cool. On Thursday night. Yeah. And um, we're looking forward to getting a lot of out of town is coming on Thursday because that's when a lot of people come into town because they want to get the whole weekend of yeah, the festival. Yeah, exactly. And uh, plus, as I said, um, people come here and they want to know where to go. So, you know, a lot of stuff. We involved with stuff the caravan. I play in the parade myself. So, oh, really? Yeah. So Good. I put on my costume and everything. What's what's up this year? What kind of costume are you wearing? I'm wearing my costume is ebony and ivory. I'm okay. I'm with a band called Disco Fever. Disco Fever. Yeah. That's so cool. It's a beautiful costume with feathers and everything. Nice. What color? It's black and white. Black and white. Because I'm originally from Trinidad. So uh huh. 
I mean, um, the owners of the restaurant are Jamaican, yes. um, Lily and Ed, but they have basically tried to portray themselves as a Caribbean restaurant. Caribbean, yeah. Not just Jamaican. Mm -hmm. As I said, we sell all rums of the Caribbean. That's right. We actually have had a tasting with El Dorado rum, which is a rum from Guyana recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're having a tasting next week, Thursday, with a St. Lucian rum. Oh, yeah? And because as I said, it's all about the Caribbean experience. So the whole Caribbean experience. Yes, yes. Nice. As I said, roti, which is one of our most popular dishes. Well, let me show some of this Caribbean paradise here with the orange, yellow, and red windows, Bob Marley on the wall. And we also have some of the flags and some of the Caribbean islands. Yeah. What a colorful place here. Excellent. Yeah. Who did the mural? The mural actually was done years ago by oh, yeah? Paula Munich. I think Paula um, basically okay. about 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. So, I mean, if you come in here anytime, like on a come Thursday night, Thursday night is so, you feel like you are in Jamaica. Or really? On the yeah. beach because people are singing, people are dancing. And that's the uptight Torontonians. Look at that. Yeah. People are You guys get people themselves. out of their shell. Yeah. <laughs> so, as I said, um, we're looking forward to this caravan. Yeah. As I said, we started off on Thursday night where we have karaoke. Um, we're having a St. Lucian rum tasting. We also open extended hours for the whole <laughs> Caribana weekend. Great, good. Et cetera. And then, as I said, it's not just the Caribbean events we involved with. We're actually doing the beer festival event the next weekend. Okay. So, as I said, um, just chicken roti has become so popular that, you know, we go everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. That's perfect. Well, thank you for giving me an introduction <laughs> to the real jerk. Yeah, and you have to try the food sometimes. I know your I food. Said, I like, like it. it. It's <laughs> delicious. No problem. And the thing is, people always think that um, we just have spicy stuff. Uh, Caribbean food is not about spiciness, it's about the flavor. Yeah. And the flavor is what is important. Exactly. So we have a lot of meals that even if you don't eat peppers, uh, spicy peppers, it still has the flavor and yeah. it's not hot. Yeah. Not and can you sort of say, you know, can you tone it down a little bit? Well, not certain dishes like jerk. We tend to do medium and it's yeah. even hotter. Oh, okay. But we have stuff like okay. oxtail, rotis. It's not hot. Okay. We have kids that come in here from when they're small. Yeah. The stuff and it's, it's amazing. That's when you add the hot sauce, right? Yeah. If yeah. you need more heat, <laughs> yeah. the hot you sauce comes out. add more heat. Exactly. If too much heat, it's overpowering. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, no Natalie. Problem. Perfect. Okay. okay.